you order the boards and then you build the board. You write the software that controls the board. Then it's this really cool puzzle after puzzle after puzzle, changing the world around you in ways that, you know, hopefully are positive. <laughs> My name's Natalie Puello. I was born and raised in Mexico. A lot of our memories are going up to the different farms and like sampling the baby corn. We had that direct relationship with food. So it was not a big surprise that when I got to engineering, what interested me the most was to work with plants. When I was at Davis, I worked with the team building the Frailbot. The Frailbot is a very cool technology because it works with the fruit pickers. As the fruit pickers are harvesting and filling boxes of strawberries, the Frailbot will come to the picker and then the picker can trade the full box for an empty box and the Frailbot will go back to the central station and drop off the full boxes. The grower loves this because it increases the speed. But there's this question of like, is this actually helping the pickers? Harvesting strawberries is a very, very physically demanding job. You're leaning down all the time, and so your back gets really tired. And if you introduce a robot that's taking the part of the job where the pickers are standing up straight and moving towards the central location and then coming back, is this worse for the ergonomics of the pickers? One of the things that did come up is that they really liked it because they get paid by the box. And so by having the robot pick up the boxes, they didn't have to spend that time running up and down the furrows. It's a nice feeling to know that your technology is helping both the grower and the pickers because I like technology that works with the people. Working in robotics is a little bit challenging because we're working on systems and tools that are likely to replace people. On one side, there hasn't been enough people harvesting fruits and vegetables on fields. A lot of this food has just gone to waste. But it's still hard because those are still jobs. But in return, you're also getting farms that can produce so much more food with a lot less inputs. That might be desirable in the end because the population is growing. It's been a very important thing for me to be involved in food production. It affects everything from like what you eat, how you feel, and it's nice understanding not just what you're eating, but also where it came from. It doesn't just magically appear at the grocery station. It requires technology, it requires people, and it requires a lot of time, energy, and inputs to get the food that we need.